Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. By default, OneNote installs one notebook named Personal, which has one section named General. That section contains four pages of information about OneNote and examples of the types of information that you can collect, store, and share in OneNote. Let's take a closer look at this default notebook to further illustrate the different parts of the program. Now keep in mind that if your organization or school has a personalized OneNote environment, the personal notebook may not be available to you. If so, you can open any available notebook to follow along. Once OneNote is open, open the personal notebook if it isn't open already. Now, if it isn't open, click the notebook drop-down here and then select or tap the notebook that you want to open. There's personal and give that a click. Remember that in versions prior to 2013, you can click the personal notebook button in the navigation bar. And let's take a look at that. We looked at this in an earlier lesson, but let's look at that navigation bar, which we can display in 2013 if we want to. We'll use the notebook drop-down. We'll click the small pin notebook pane to side here, and there's our navigation bar. And so in this way, then, you can also switch between the notebooks as well. We'll go ahead and unpin that navigation bar. Now, if the notebook isn't displayed at all from the options here in the drop-down, there's another way to open it, in which case we would go into Backstage View. So to do so, click the File tab to enter Backstage View, and then click Open on the left. Now we have some options on the right. We, have, we can open with our SkyDrive account if we'd like. We'll go over that in an upcoming lesson. But if we scroll down a little bit here, we'll see that we can open from other locations. We have Recent Notebooks here, where we can click on that. If we have one that we recently opened, we could click to open it. Again, here's the SkyDrive. We can select that and browse our SkyDrive account to open it. Or perhaps you have it stored on your computer or on a network, in which case we could select Computer. From here, then, we can click the Browse button and then browse to the location of your notebook. You'll see that it defaults to My Documents and OneNote Notebooks, and here's our personal notebook. So we'll go ahead and double click on that to display it. Then click Open Notebook, that one right there. Give that a click, and then click Open, and that will open the notebook as well. Now that we have the default notebook open, let's explore it some more. Your current notebook will be indicated by the Active Notebook tab in the Notebook drop-down or in your navigation bar if you're using a previous version. So if we use the Notebook drop-down here, you'll see that the one that's active is the one that has a light gray highlight around it. Now remember that the sections of your notebook are represented by tabs located in the notebook header right up here at the top. The current section is indicated by the Active tab, and you simply click on any of the tabs to display that section's content. Within each section are pages. The current page is indicated by the Active tab over in the Page Tabs bar over here, but you can also see the same information in two other places. You can see it in the Title bar at the top of the Application window, and at the top of the page, right here. Each page you create will have a title at the top. If you're using version 2013, you will see a solid line underneath that title. If you're using a version prior to 2013, you'll actually see a dotted line around that title. And that's the default personal notebook. Again, it's just a sample for you to go in and play with. You can make changes to it and use it for practice as you like. And now we'll be getting into how we create our new notebooks and add new content to those notebooks outside of this personal notebook that was added for us. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www 
www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.